Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name's Tom and today we're going to be doing, we're doing a video, but a little bit different because what I'm showcasing today is my favorite live streaming program for the Mac. And that program is Ecamm Live. So before I was a tech focused channel, I used to stream and play and make videos about video games. And I've touched on that in the past that I love them and I play them quite often. So when it came to live streaming video games as a Mac user, I've always had an issue. That was until I found Ecamm. Now I'm gonna break down this video into a couple parts. We're gonna talk hardware, what I use to stream, and then we're gonna take an abbreviated look at Ecamm. And hopefully with this video, it gives you enough insight into downloading the program and using it because I've tried all the other programs out there and Ecamm is my favorite. So let's get into it. Why Ecamm? Well, Ecamm is super easy to use. If you're familiar with OBS and the setup of OBS with scenes, overlays, alerts, Ecamm offers you that same thing. The thing that I've always found with OBS is that it doesn't run well on Mac. So with that being said, I'm gonna show you guys some of the windows that I use to set up and walk through how to set up a scene. But before we get into that, I wanna talk about cameras. The great thing about using Ecamm is it auto recognizes DSLR cameras. You can easily switch to something like a FaceTime camera. I mean, I don't recommend it, but um, here we are. I mean, this, this angle alone is, is not good. But wait, also, there's quick actions that you can use with Ecamm. So setting numbers up for cameras is super easy. So what I do in turn, and chances are if you're not new to this channel, you've noticed it, I can use supplemental cameras for overhead shots for reviews. So for instance, we're gonna plug in my phone. So what I'm currently running is an app that runs a clean video out. And that's what I use typically when I use top down. And if I wanna switch between them, I can just press a button. Now, granted, you guys are only seeing that, but we can do a side-by-side, -side, or I could even do a picture-in-picture. -picture. This is the thing that I love about Ecamm. Now, granted, that's a terrible angle, so let's just let's get rid of that. So, m need I say more, Ecamm allows multi-cam easily, and that's one of those things that kind of sold me on using the program and a pro version of it. So, let's talk video games. As I was showing you guys on the phone, I actually run an Elgato HD 60S, and I run that through a PS4. The Elgato 60S is an incredibly easy piece of equipment to run. It has a HDMI in, an HDMI out, and it's powered by USB-C to USB 3, which then gets plugged into your computer. The only thing that I find difficult about using Elgato equipment is using the software integrated with other programs like Ecamm. So for instance, what we're going to be doing is opening the Elgato application for Mac, and that is called Game Capture HD. So let me pull this up on, a, on my live window. And all you have to do with Elgato's equipment is simply turn on your console or PC that you're going to be recording from, playing on, and uh, it should auto recognize on Elgato via the external capture card as it is right now. You can see I was playing Rocket League a little bit earlier. So on the interface, we have access to game audio and live streaming audio, as well as a couple of basic overlays uh, directly from Elgato's software. I'm not a real big fan of it, hence why I started looking elsewhere to better my live streams, which I think is super important. You also have the option to add live commentary or completely mute it, as well as stream to different places, uh, Twitch, YouTube, uh, Mixer. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> It's super easy. You can change your settings for your output as well as your audio. And much like Ecamm, it's it's intuitive, but it's very limiting when it comes to alerts. And I always found that the overlays were a little bit more difficult to design. So that leaves us with this. If we go into Ecamm, we can actually share a window that we're recording from. That would be my second monitor screen over here. When I click that second monitor screen, you can now see the game and you can see all the settings. I'm also able to zoom in. 
recenter, reposition, whatever else I want to do. From here, I can also add overlays and I'll, I'll show you. So for instance, I already set up a scene that I use quite frequently and it is called Segment Live. This is my segment live scene. And from here, you can see that I have myself in a little corner. Um, that's what you're seeing me with, uh, as well as some ads and social media account stuff. And what I would do if I was playing a, a game, uh, I, all I would do was change, let me take a screenshot of this, change my primary display to my secondary display. When I change that, you can see the game pops right up in the live feed. And then from here, I can zoom, reposition, center. I will say sometimes it gets wonky because of aspect ratio and how your overlay crops. If you need more or less audio, you can turn that up or down from the HD Game Capture app or uh, directly in the Ecamm app because it is pulling from your system settings. Now we don't just play on a computer screen because we run through an Elgato HD60X, our out is actually going to my television back here. See, it's right there, it looks great. And obviously there's no latency when you do this, so it's it's recommended that you play via uh, an HDMI out versus on a computer screen. But if you're not playing a game that relies on latency or skill, I guess, you can, uh, you can totally just play from your computer screen or, or your recorded, I don't know, whatever you want. You can customize your audio with Ecamm just by simply plugging in an interface like I do with the H6 by Zoom. You can also use USB mics. So because we're still on a segment live, I'm going to go back to a scene that I call Just My Face and boom, it's uh, Just My Face, but picture in picture. Here. So I'm back. Uh, you can also just use USB mics. They work just as well. And... It's an exceptional program. It's so easy to recommend when something works as well as it does. And Ecamm also constantly updates to help the interface work better with your computer or programs that are coming out. And I'm not using it right now, but Ecamm also gives you the option to utilize HTTPS sites that will run automated alert systems that come from Twitch or YouTube. So it's great. You can get pop-ups like you would in any other professional live stream. You can also pull comments from chatters and people in your chat. They are called chatters, right? <laughs> I don't know. But another wonderful thing you can do is have pop-ups that fade in, fade out from sponsors. So for instance, in old streams, I used to do, uh, I used to promote an Amazon affiliate page. So I would simply tap a button and my Amazon pop-up showing uh, my amazon.com slash shop slash Tom DeSico site would pop and I'd be able to talk about that. I have talked about TubeBuddy on past live streams and it's it's nice. It's a great little feature to be able to utilize in the middle of a stream is easy pop on pop off. Now I don't have one, but Ecamm also allows integration with a stream deck by Elgato. I've heard great things and I eventually will be getting one. There I could easily program a tap of a button, a multicam or a, a single cam switch. I could do an animation or a reminder pop up. Any of the stuff that I've been showing you up till now, I could easily program with an Elgato Stream Deck. So that might be something you want to look into also. Also, reminder, if you're interested in any of the hardware that I have mentioned in this video up until now, you can find links for all that stuff in the description below. So thank you. Best part about Ecamm, it's totally free. If you guys go to the link in the description below, you can download a free version of Ecamm Live and it's exceptional. Before upgrading to Pro, I used Ecamm Live for at least two years. Some of the features will be removed that I have talked about, but it's worth exploring and using. I think you're gonna really enjoy it, so be sure to click the link in the description below, download Ecamm for yourself, and let me know in the comments what you think about it. So just a quick wrap up, Ecamm has everything you're gonna need and it's gonna better integrate with your Mac system. They have overlays, they have audio adjustments, they have sound effects. You can also add comments and multicam. It's great, it's a great app. You can stream to Facebook, you can stream to Periscope, you can also stream to YouTube. You can do what I'm doing right now to make this video and make a record only. It's great. You can schedule lives, you can record lives, you can record in 4K, 1080p. I don't know what else to say. I, I wanted to make this video for so long, but I, I didn't know how to do it. And I thought 
there would be no better way than to try to show you guys how great of an app and program this is just by using it to make a video. So with that being said, I hope you liked it. And if you aren't already, be sure you guys hit subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And while you're at it, I hope you guys watch another one. That's it for me, though. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Let's see what applause sounds like. Oh, applause sounds nice. What about bicycle horn? That's cute. DJ Airhorn? I knew that was coming. Come on.